Hey everyone, we're on the road on our way to Bonavista, Elliston, and Port Rexon. And uh, we're about to enter the Terranova National Park. Back to you in a minute. Danny's beyond us somewhere. Sheer cliffs right here. Oh, that's all right. I'm going down. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Dig Door, guys. We're not indoors today. We're over Ellison, Bonavista, Puffins. Port Rexton. We're going to go see the Puffins, as you can wow. see. Well, hopefully they're there. We're not sure. We're about to walk out. Yeah, it was a nice drive over, though. Beautiful. We had, this is take two of our intro. Tony screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's for normal. Hopefully Danny. we see some wells. Yeah, well, we'll see. I don't think there's any wells. Anyway, we'll check out the Puffins. Pretty neat chairs, Puffin chairs. Rugged drain, and we're about to find out. Danger, oh my god. The scenery here is pretty nice. Danny's gonna fall overboard. Uh, probably something like that today. Yeah, you gotta watch your step. What? Oh, there's the dead whale. Oh, look, there's the dead whale. Poo, you can smell. It's a nice little trail, beautiful. Looking back, old style Newfoundland houses. See the two story one there. What a day! Beautiful, beautiful day. I wish it wasn't so windy. Yeah, be good if Austin could put a picture of Newfoundland in and show where we are out on that point. Jeez, look at that. Close -up <laughs> 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 I dare say, man. I don't like that. Oh, god, I don't even like the wind blowing. Freaking me out. Oh, look. Oh, there she is. Wow, there's a puffin. Yeah. That's beautiful about them, their beaks. Pretty neat. Puffin is uh, the Newfoundland provincial bird. They breed there, but they migrate from like Greenland, uh, Iceland. Yeah, one bird comes in there like that, Yeah, no. Come in for a photo, photo op. But it, when we were here before, there was like hundreds there. Hundreds there, there, there everywhere. Oh. To Cape Bonavista, I would say. Here we go. Come on, Tony. Let's go get some spuds. But before the great. Technological advance of refrigeration. It's where they get their potatoes. Yeah. It's called a root cellar. And there's a bunch of them here. Around, there's some over that way. Come on. You going in? You going in? I don't know if you can see in there though. No, you probably can't. But they would store vegetables and stuff here. Cold in there? <laughs> and that's what it looks it's like. Cellar. Before they have refrigeration. Some people still use this today, right? I guess. Some I don't know. Maybe they guess. They do, don't they? <laughs> Around the world. <laughs> they always do. See, we did our research. They do. They did. They do? Where? Um, different parts of the world. <laughs> Get the our good side. All right. We're at the Dungeon Provincial Park. Just outside of... Uh, Ellison? No. Uh, Bonavista? Well, the town of Bonavista. Ellison's like right there. No, Bonavista. Oh, okay, right okay, just Bonavista's right there. And I get, dungeons, I guess they're talking about gorges. There's going to be some dragons there, too. I don't know. Jeez, that is all. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Well, it's nice knowing you. Tony, can you get down there? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, there. Give her. Go. How's that going to get back up? Forklift. Crane. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Two sea arches. We call it the dungeons. I'm going down. Give her. I'll film it from here. What if I slide in? That's pretty neat. You don't see dual sea arches very often. Though. Tell Cheryl. Tell Cheryl I love her. I'm going down. 
I'll film it, like I said. Oh, well, I guess he is. Yeah. There's lots of, like, lots of pointy rocks all the way down that you could land on to hold you. Looks like we're going for a walk. Danny's over there. So I don't know if he can go down it. No? Give her. He said a lot of people goes down there. Oh. Like jump from there. Jesus, I'm saying I'm gonna go down over a cliff. You just go, I'm just you supposed to say Danny, don't do it. Oh yeah, let's do it, won't you? Easy. Go down and say. I'm going down. I'm not going down a cliff. I'm scared. <laughs> Watch bank breakaway. Right yeah. <laughs> Lots of people does it. Yes. Can you do it? He did it. What? He did it? I did it a few years ago, yeah. Did you? You get an advantage though. You probably don't do that to break my wall. It don't look that bad actually. No. Yeah, it don't look bad. Come back coming back up would be the worst. Potter! Oh, I think I need to die this time. I don't know if I'm filming it. I don't know if it was should uh, if it's illegal. Is this white here? Yeah. Right there in the blue shirt. Oh my goodness. Why did you mention this? Yeah. Wait, I gotta film it from over there. For life insurance purposes. Yeah. Uh, you are Why didn't he take the camera? Yeah. Danny, you left the camera behind. Come back. Daxton. Daxton. Yeah. Wait now. We'll put a parachute on it and throw it down. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I can't wait to see you come back up. Oh, he made it. He's still alive for now. Danny, take a rock for a souvenir. Well, we don't know if he's gonna make it back up, but anyway, it's a pretty neat area. Beautiful. Loose gravel at the top. So athletic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there before he falls. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Don't waste the die. <laughs> Daxton. <laughs> Check out our channel at Outdoor Guys. If I'm doing that again, I'd like to take a video. <laughs> take the camera away yet. This time. Danny, get away from the edge. Ten bucks. <laughs> No, you don't have to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, so now that Danny broke every law in the provincial park, <laughs> yeah. we're getting ready to leave. Well, they don't say no laws. Do they made it up anyway. Well, this is all cliff danger. They don't say do not climb down the, I don't know. Never the dungeon of death. Anyway, off to the uh, lighthouse, which is right over there. Cape Bonavista. Cape, Cape Bonavista. Oh. So he knows we're outdoors. Yeah. Suck in, Danny. Yeah, you got to hang right out here. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, sucked in enough. <laughs> Suck in more. Hey, we're at Bonavista, Cape Bonavista. The lighthouse is up here. And uh, Danny said there's something special this way. There's huge, Apparently. steep gorges that uh, you almost lose your balance when you box by. Well, I won't be going out there. It's not that go. bad. It's just a little bit narrow, so. Like a few, well, 10 feet, 20. Just don't slip. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. The ground may break off without warning, and you could be seriously injured or killed. Go on, let's go. <laughs> you <win. laughs> Come on. Come on. The door Come, on. Needs to Come on, kids. This is safe. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the lighthouse. We're gonna be going there after. The yeah, Banavis is pretty scenic. The cliffs and puffins, lots of stuff to see. The dungeons and coast. It's amazing. Oh, I'm back to home. Just walked down to the bottom of the gorge and got, came back up. <sighs> Not very often. Lately, like since I left the Navy, that I can actually smell the ocean. And it's only out here. Not even out in boat, like because you don't get out far enough, I don't think, from land. But out here you can smell the ocean. It's nice. It's beautiful. And you can see the land. Hopefully the wind isn't too too bad. I just told Danny it's good on the edge. Danny get that speed C spire spire. And amazing. The views are simply amazing. Danny getting some B-roll film. Trina's getting some Tony B film. We got sheer cliffs right here. God, just out over that edge is a huge drop off. Check it out. There you go. <laughs> I can't even look because I'll fall. All right, we're going for a tour of the Bonavista Lighthouse. It's under construction or under repairs right now, but the look of it. Yep. Let's see what it's all about. Oh. Oh. Is there last one like in the world? A kind of system. Wow. Ah. Designed by Robert Stevenson in 1816, came from Scotland, Isle of May. Wow. Downstairs in the kitchen is a counterweight. You go down and see it after. Okay. The counterweight could act like a giant grandfather clock for this thing. It just wound it up, gave it a spin to keep up momentum, and the counterweight would carry it the rest of the way down. At a full crank, you can go for two hours, so you have to come up here every two hours at night to wind up again. And every two hours of the day, he was recording the weather. So you say it's the last one? Last one like this in the world. In the world. That we know of. I found a Japan. I, look, I found a thing that has Japan on it. Oh, yeah, cool. That's not Japan, do you know what that is? Yeah. That's all the different flags that they would sing on ships with. So there's Yankee, Umbrella. Is this Japan? This one is one. And there's Romeo. Yeah, that's how they would talk to ships before communications. Peapots. Oh, oil lamps. I haven't seen one of them since Nan. It's all like a stove. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, that's all the flags. That's what I was saying about there. That's what those wooden things are, is the flags there. They would, that's how they would communicate to the ships. Oh yeah, top hat and case for the top hat. Address. Oh, that's a stove. Yeah, that's the cannery. I guess he was talking about. Oh, oven though. Yeah. Oh, look at that barometer. About Jeez. Oh, living room. Oh, that's a nice fireplace. Oh, wow. Is there an old tub? Is there a there? Yeah, fine there. More puffins over there. Lots of puffins in this area. On I-95, <laughs> get a herd of cattle. <laughs> oh, why did that was going fast? Oh, right a big giant thing? <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Air, Danny. <laughs> oh, that's that big bull going to knock that. Air, Danny. Danny, look at the big bull eyeing you down. We made it to Tickle Cove, Newfoundland. Again. <laughs> Part two. Part two. 
Yeah, we just filmed and I forgot to turn the mic on. Yeah, so we're gonna... You got the... Yeah. There's red, Tickle Cove. Showing red coves over there. Red cliffs. Tickle oh. Cove. The beaches are all red. Everything's red. Wind's crazy. Yeah, our mics just died. So uh, now we're on on camera, Mike. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. But we're walking up here to the sea arch. It's right behind me. Up these steps. This is welcome to the sea arch. Let's have a look. Pretty intense. We'll get Danny's uh, expression. <laughs> hey! Holy crap. Man, it's pretty amazing actually. Sure. Yeah, that is amazing. Well, Tickle Cove was impressive. We've seen a lot of nice. Wow. Oh my god, but I can't look at him. <laughs> Ooh, I'm outside. Like an idiot. <laughs> Tony's like a llama. Yeah, but you didn't take the camera. No, he's not a picture of me. Oh my god. God, we're going to have a heart attack. So, like this. It's pretty neat. Come on, look at that cliff up there, the, like ready to fall, ready to fall apart. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. We're outdoor guys, but we're mostly indoors. We can't go up there. Right on. Oh. Oh. Holy crap! Oh, that's all right. Oh. Wow. Ooh, I don't like this. All right, you're on. Everybody here tried to skip a rock, but all the outdoor guy, a lot of mostly indoor guy, you gotta skip a rock to show them outside. Oh, Tony just did it. Yeah, cause we knows what we're doing. Okay, come on, come on, bye. That's the day. Yeah. Whole day we didn't get the trail in. We're gonna do that one later. But take, uh, take, take the shore for going up the, and treating for climbing the, the big cliff first, so we didn't have to do it. Yeah, but we'll we'll see it on video. <laughs> we're, out, we're outdoor guys, but we ain't that outdoors. <laughs> Mostly indoors. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. The beautiful scenery Wait, here where, where in Newfoundland, Bonavista, Newfoundland. Where, where do we go first? Ellerton, Ellerton, the Puffins, ba Bonavista, and uh, the Puffins, and here. Cat, oh, the, the, cow, the, cat, the beef, the beef was good. And uh, here at the Sea Arch. Take it easy. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Tony. I'm Danny. And we're outdoor guys. Oh, we're outdoors today. Hell yeah. See you next time. I don't know about next week.